In this video, I'm going to show you how to create these kind of 3D videos using a simple tool. So the tool is called Blockade Labs. I've already created a video about Blockade Labs, but there are a few updates and new features that it has just launched. This is what the older version of Skybox looks like, where you have only one option to create 3D worlds, that is the text prompt. But once you create on Generate, this new version will open up where you have options like creating a drawing or a scenery and then generating a 3D world by giving some prompt. So we'll go, we'll move on to that a bit later. But first, let's see something basic. So you have all these options from where you can create a 3D scene by simply writing a one line prompt. So let's select cyberpunk and then let's write a simple prompt. This was the simple prompt that I wrote, a cave with mad experiments to end humanity. It was just a simple prompt and I selected cyberpunk and I clicked on generate and within seconds it generated this 3D image or a scene. Now in this blockade labs itself, you can just preview the whole scene by rotating it up and down. But after a few generations, I will show you a trick through which you can convert this scene into a video and use it in different projects of yours, be it a YouTube video, be it a short story, anything. Now let's keep the prompt same and let's change the style. So I will select dreamlike and if we click on generate, let's see what it comes up with. We selected dreamlike. So this time it has come up with some fairy tale scene i mean it, it looks like a very dreamy scene now let's try changing the prompt a bit this time i've written a metro station underground dark alley with a track bench and we will select something like sci-fi or let's try selecting realistic and see what it comes up with and as you can see it comes up with some amazing looking images or scenes Now one option to download a 3D image is by clicking on this button. So when you click on this button, the whole image will be downloaded. And if you don't know how a 3D image looks like, this is what it looks like. Now I'll show you how to convert this image into a video. So to do that, visit this website, AI Tools Arena. The link to this in the description. I opened Skybox Labs from here, right here. Visit Skybox AI. Now one option right here is visit 360 viewer. So if we click on visit 360 viewer, we can view any 360 image that we downloaded from Skybox Labs. So click on upload image and you can upload any image that you downloaded. And right here you can view the image and you can start rotating the image by clicking on toggle rotation and if you want to increase the speed of the rotation just click it multiple times the more you click this increase rotation speed option the speed of the rotation will increase further as you can see the speed is increasing and if you want to decrease the rotation speed you can click on decrease rotation speed now you must be wondering how you can save this video and use it in some of your projects so if you go back to this tool right here, AI Tools Arena, you can download a free screen recorder from right here. As you can see, free screen recorder. So just click on Share X, download it, and unzip the file, and you're ready with a screen recorder. Once you are done downloading the screen recorder, go back to the 360 viewer, and increase the whole size of this scene right here and then you switch on your screen recorder and the whole scene will be recorded for you. You can do this with multiple scenes so that you can use them in different projects and videos of yours. So as you can see I just generated this image right here and I selected realistic. So you can select different options for example if I select there are hundreds of examples right here. So let's select maybe super art or holographic. Let's try holographic and see what it comes up with. 
and as you can see this is what it came up with you can play around with different types and different styles now one way of generating a 3d image is by going to this tool right here ai tools arena and right here you have a couple of examples of prompts so you can copy one prompt and then go back to the tool and paste the prompt right here so this is an easy way of generating 3d world and you can change few words and settings in the prompt to generate something of your own you can let's try a different style so i will try scenic right here and click on generate and as you can see this is what it came up with now if you want to create a video out of it you need to follow the same process just click on download and download the image and then go to 360 viewer upload your image right here and then you can toggle the speed by clicking on this button right here so now if you want to record the video do the same thing as i told you if you've downloaded the screen recorder just increase the size of the screen and then switch on the recorder and then you can export it or import it into a video editor compile all the scenes give it a voiceover using 11 labs and create a story i'll make a complete tutorial on that if you want me to but yeah there are a lot of possibilities of what you can do using this tool and the scene that you can create through it coming back to blockade labs there is one more feature that we yet have to discuss about that is called the brush tool so you can draw different structures and create a scene of your own using the brush tool so just reopen the tool once again and you will come up with this kind of an interface where you can start drawing right here so before you draw you have some guidance scales and guidance graphs that you can follow in order to generate something relevant according to so suppose now there are some lines that are guiding me for the perspective so i'm creating some buildings right here and i want to leave an empty space between the buildings i'll rotate the whole scene and draw some more buildings or not buildings exactly but a structure go back to the brush tool draw some more structure and then leave an empty space on this side so let's draw a fence type structure right here rotate the whole scene maybe let's try drawing a road that goes towards that side my drawing is not that good so i don't know what i'm drawing so you can guide your 3d image by drawing a bit if your drawing is good and you know, have an idea of how to do this it's well very good i don't know this is maybe sun and now you can write a prompt according to what you have drawn let's try generating it without writing a prompt so instead of digital painting i want fantasy lands or maybe let's try surreal styles and then click on generate so as you can see it says the prompt is required so we cannot generate anything without a prompt so i'm going to write a prompt right here so this is the simple prompt that i have written a hill station with scenic view and old building sun is sharp japanese style let's click on generate and see what it comes up with so as you can see it came up with this kind of a scene and if you toggle over this place right here it will show what all structure you created so i created some structures on this side of the image and it has done the same thing then i created a line for a landscape and it has done the same thing i created some trees but it didn't pick it at as trees it picked it as some structures where but that is all right because i didn't write anything about trees in the prompt now the last thing we are going to do is try and change the style so let's click on realistic and see what it comes up with 
and as you can see this is the last scene that it came up with and it came out pretty nice let's toggle over the prompt and see how accurate the structure is so it generated a structure a building an architectural structure where i drew some buildings and it drew a mountain range where i drew a line and some trees where i drew trees exactly so we can save this image because i really like the image and yeah you can play around with this tool because i find this tool really very helpful and you can do the same thing now as we've downloaded the image let's go to the 3d viewer and try uploading the image right here i think it will look amazing let's increase the toggle speed the rotation speed actually and it is looking pretty decent let's rotate it a bit now let's start the rotation from right here okay the rotation is going to start from the beginning but you can cut out the video of the part that you want to use in any of your projects or anything so this is what it looks like and it looks like a real video now this was it for the video if you like the video then subscribe to the channel and i'll be back with some more ai related content in my next video